We're shooting into the sun, so we're hoping the sign is turning out. A week ago, that sign said a new traffic pattern would be August 21st. Well, today is August 21st, and the sign now says August 24th. We are on Route 11, heading toward the 1187 intersection, and we will pick up on this as we get closer to that intersection. We are traveling uh, between the Ridge Road and the intersection. The road to our left has been built up substantially, at least six to eight inches. And when we come back after going through this portion here, we will uh, show you how that road has been built up compared to a week ago. We have a green light, so we're going to keep going through this bumpy road. And as you can see from the construction vehicles, they're continuing to uh, work on the exit ramps. We are con going through the intersection. We have uh, coming along the Valeros and to McDonald's. The gas has dropped a little bit in the last week. And when we get here, we will uh, get to the end of this section. We will turn around and come back and show the uh, new road as it's coming along. So we'll stop now and pick it up as we turn around. Okay, we are approaching from the west. Going to the uh, mobile station and the, where the Sunoco was. Here, you can see the new road to our right. Chances are on Monday we'll or Tuesday we'll be traveling that road. There's the mobile station and the Department of uh, Highway Department, State Highway Department uh, area. Again, as Judy holds the camera out the window, we can see the uh, the height of the that road. And here's the uh, intersection with the northbound traffic on our left, southbound on our right. And we'll shut it off here after we just show indicate that this is the the uh, new uh, roadway on our, our right side. We have parked in the Maplefields parking lot, and this is the traffic heading east. You can see what a nice big drop off uh, it's going to be up here. Quite the drop off. This is the portion of the road that was uh, paved this week. I'm assuming this will be used on Monday or Tuesday. Whenever they decide, it's still a a gap between the roadways here. <laughs> it's like a familiar face. And this is uh, it's going to be to the uh, when you're exiting and heading toward Rouse's Point. This will be to your right. So try to stay on the highway. It'll be a long way down. And as we can tell from every time we've been here, this is a heavy trafficked area. And for the people who haven't seen our previous reports, 
the New York State DOT has decided that after oh I'm guessing 20 years a little over 20 years I think these lights came up in 93 when Miramar opened before that there were just stop signs on the exit no traffic lights here the stop signs so 93 the traffic lights went up they decided that traffic circles or roundabouts would be a lot safer and less expensive I heartily disagree again this is to the right hand side of the traffic hopefully there'll be some guardrails here I don't want to cut it too short. So there'll be traffic circle right here. People will exit coming off the north way, heading north. People heading west will go into the traffic circle. You'll have a traffic circle at this end and a traffic circle on the other end of that overpass. This, I assume, will be part of the traffic circle for those people coming from the Moores area and heading toward Rouse's Point. After crossing the overpass, they'll enter the traffic, cir this traffic circle, come around tie in with the traffic coming off the north way and if they're heading toward Rouse's Point they'll head in that direction if they want to go north they'll go three quarters of the way around the traffic circle and head north so they'll intersect with the, all the cars coming from the south all the cars coming from the east So you'll go through one traffic circle, cross the overpass, enter another traffic circle. So this is <laughs> this is what the traffic looks like at 6:08 on a Friday. It's been similar in all of our previous trips. This is uh, still got some little bit more build up here to. Uh, even this up with the overpass. We're assuming this part will be taken down. One of the reasons they had to redo the overpass was to make it higher. I'm not convinced that the Ridge Road overpass, the Minor Farm overpass uh, are as high as this new overpass here, but the state said it had to be done, so they did it. This is the west end, where there will be a traffic circle on this side. I imagine once the old uh, Overpass has been taken out of use. They'll start working on this traffic circle. So people coming from the Moors direction from the west will enter the traffic circle, come around here, and if they're just going east, they'll continue on. You know, only time the traffic will get will be somebody who is uh, coming on already on the traffic circle. But the people heading uh, to the west will come here into the traffic circle, intersect with the traffic coming from the north, then go on if they want to get on the uh, north way and head south. 
They will intersect with this traffic coming from the north, intersect with the traffic coming from the west, and then go in their southerly direction. So this is how it looks. Uh, as I reported a week ago, this was all supposed to be in use by today, the 21st. I thought it was ambitious. And it didn't turn out that way a couple yesterday, I think it was, they changed the date on the signs. So as of today, the target date is Monday, August 21st, 24th. Today is the 21st. And I always like to point out my biggest concern is the traffic coming from the north or the north way makes what looks like a right turn to us but is actually a left turn for the people coming from the north and the exit is pretty much in a straight line so that is going to create some confusion on the always has since they put that exit in and it's going to continue to create confusion and that traffic heading south will now come into an area with a traffic circle which are always interesting and in my opinion a little bit hazardous to maneuver through. I've had people say well once people get used to it there's no problem. Well if all the traffic through here was local I would agree but the vast majority of the people getting off that that ramp right there do not have New York plates on them and a good percentage of the people in the east-west direction are also from out of the area so a lot of people from out of the area will be maneuvering this so there'll be no learning the the overpass as far as they're concerned so that wraps up our August 21st look at the situation here. We'll be back probably next weekend to uh, update it, if not before that. Hometown Cables look at the progress being made here. Let's uh, hope there's no accidents here while we're recording it. Progress being made here August 21st, 2015. Thanks for watching.